Hi guys, this is Steven. I'm back again with another tutorial. Uh, this one is uh, how to bring in a WMV file, MOV file, uh, AVI file, um, any type of animated um, movie clip into Maya. The um, reason I'm doing this is because I did a project for class last year which included um, making a Maya model and having a piece of animation on it and it took a lot of research research to find good solid information on how to actually do it. Uh, there's a lot of information out there. It's you know partial information. You got to piece it all again. It's a real pain in the ass. So I decided I'm going to do this tutorial for you guys. Um, so hopefully it'll get out there, pass it on to your friends because this, this is going to be decent. This is something everyone can really use. Um, not really exactly going to put an AVI file, WMV file. Um, MOV file in Maya, what we have to do is we have to take that file, bring it into After Effects, uh, break it up into separate images, just like, a, just like a flip book, just like you do in Maya when you render out your images, it comes out in separate images. Um, and then we import those images into Maya on a shader and put it on whatever plane um, or geometry uh, that you want the animation to be on. Um, okay, so let's get started. Uh, I already have After Effects open up here, and I'm going to double click, and I already got my uh, file ready to go. So I'm using Teleport, and this is actually um, my first rendition of, um, of my teleportation uh, trial that is actually on YouTube. It's you know it's uh, taken from. Um, uh, the images are taken from the video video code pile. I guess is the, the dude's name Sam um, did it because I don't have a green screen. He was already green screened, so it was it was easy. Um, so this is what we got here. I just scrub through it. One ring goes through, and this, the one I have on YouTube actually has another ring, so he just dis disintegrates in, in two passes. But anyway, let's 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 get past that. So we're going to use this. This is a MOV file. Um, QuickTime that I uh, exported it um, originally to um, to upload to uh, um, YouTube. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this file and the first thing we want to do is make it square. So we go into composition settings and we have the width height um, 720 by 480. We're going to unlock the aspect ratio which is um, at 3.2 aspect ratio and we're going to turn the height of the composition to the same as the width. You always want to make the smaller number equal to the larger number, not vice versa, because then you'll have a cutoff, a cutoff uh, image. So we're going to turn this to 720. 720. Ah! Okay, let's try it again. 720. Alright, there we go. So now our image is in a uh, uh, square configuration. Now you don't have to make it square. Uh, the reason I do this is because it just makes it a lot easier um, bringing it in, bringing it into Maya. Um, okay, so we have it uh, nice and square. And what we're okay from this point, we're going to uh, export our uh, a movie. What I'm going to do is Control M, and I'll bring us to the render queue. And what we're going to do is. Uh, um, Go output two, and I have image sequence. Uh, my image sequence already um, in my little menu here. Well, we can go to go to um, oh, scandal that. Um, go to custom, bring it up here, and the file extension you want to have is uh, your composition name dot fi um, file number dot file extension. Actually, let me type this up for you so you can see a little bit better. And yes, that is my desktop. Okay, so you want file name dot sequence. Yes, I'm an excellent speller. Sequence number dot extension. And let me just There we go. So this is how you want your uh, um, uh, naming convention for your file set up. So we want file name dot 
sequence uh, your your file sequence numbers and dot extension. Um, in the file name, you can have um, underscores to separate names. You you don't want to try and stay away from using dots. Um, you want the dots to separate the file name and the sequence of uh, file sequence numbers, and the dot to separate the um, sequence numbers and extension. Um, okay, let's go back into After Effects. Okay, so what we want to do uh, now we're back in After Effects. Let's first go into Lossless uh, Format, and we're going to change uh, video for Windows, which is uh, default to. I prefer Targa sequence. Uh, TIFF sequence, uh, from my understand, can make uh, uh, the file size a little heavy. So we're going to go to Targa sequence, okay, and from here we're going to go to Output two. Select my image sequence, and it comes up. The name teleport underscore gs underscore two dot bunch of number symbols, which is where your numbers are supposed to be, dot tga for target. And that's what we want. We want the name dot sequence dot extension. All right. And what we're going to do is just go over here, render. That should take pretty quick, uh, uh, render pretty quick because it's it's just a sequence of images. It's no effects are applied to it or anything. And it's only six seconds long. All right. That is done. I'll we'll just shut that down. Okay, we are now in Maya, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a uh, uh, some uh, square piece of geometry. Uh, so we'll click on polygons, and we're going to use the plane, and we're going to go to whichever corner you you want, which is really doesn't matter. Uh, hold down X for a grid snap, and then just drag out and just follow the grid to the opposite corner, and you get a perfect square. You don't have to worry about UVs because um, the UV layout in here is just, I don't know, one, U <laughs> one UV. I don't know, the, uh, um, there's no geometry, it's just one. Okay, if you had edges going through and there's geometry and um, the possibility of things being uneven, yeah, you would, you'd have to redo your UVs. So we have our square geometry, and now what we want to do is import the image sequence into Maya on the on the uh, uh, plane, and we're gonna, where we're going to go is we're going to go Windows Rendering Editors Hypershade. Okay, let's click that. So you recognize it, and we're going to click on Lambert, and we're going to double click on the Lambert. Go over to where it says Color with the default gray, and check on the checkered box next to it. Go over to File. Click on File, and it'll bring up uh, your 2D um, uh, texture and your uh, uh, node for your for your file sequence. Under Image Name, we're going over to the little file box. Click on that, and go to Desktop, Teleport, TGA. That's where I have it. And here's the whole load of image sequences we got here, all six seconds. Okay, and double click on the first one. Image sequences loaded, and Going to place it on our geometry. Um, Want to go over to Lambert 12, which has image on it. Right click, very top, assign material to selection, and just make sure you got your material selected first. There you go. Image is now on on the plane. And as you can tell, I'm moving the slider here, and let's up the. Uh, frames here.